Thanks, Mr. Dilly. Right, to draw Pedro, I usually start with uh, his ear. So it's kind of a big C shape. So I want you to make a big C like that on your paper. There you go. Right, when you finish that, we're gonna make the hair that sticks up. So we're gonna go one, two, three, like a big claw. Then I want you to do a straight line like that. And another line down, a bit like a wedge of cheese. Pedro would like that. Okay. Now we're going to do a line from the bottom of his ear to about there. And another one here. This is going to be his hoodie. So that just made that line a bit longer. A line around here. And another one going up here. That'll give you time to catch up. So that's kind of a basic head shape. Now we're going to do the inside of his ear and it's kind of following the same line as before. So you go another C like that. And then when you get to this bit, just a little hook there for the inside of his ear. And then we'll do his eyes. So I do two on the same side. One, two dots. And a bit of hair in his ear. Like that. And he needs some whiskers. One, two, three, four, and perhaps a little smile or a frown if he's upset. Okay, and then we're going to, let's start with his arm. So it comes out behind like that. And then a flat line like that for his cuff of his sleeve. And come up here like that. And then we're going to do a thumb. So one finger like that. And then three fingers. One, two, three. Okay. Now his other arm going up, he's going to be waving. So we're going to do a line like that. And another cuff line. And then come down, but don't quite touch the hood there. And just like before, we're gonna have a thumb. So one finger and then three. One, two, three. Now his body is a bit bell shape. It's like one line coming down here and one line, it's gonna kind of cut over that line. So like that. And then to give it that bell shape, we're gonna do a sort of slightly rounded line around the bottom. And he's got a zip on his jacket, so a line that goes down like that. You might even want to put an extra lines just to show the inside of his jacket, like right there, because that could be a little bit white and that could be yellow. And same here. It's better when you're coloring in. Okay, now we're going to do his feet. So first one, let's go back and down. And then we'll do three little toes. One, two, three. And that will curve up and around, up to here. And then follow that other line like that. Okay, now we'll do the other foot. So like that, sort of an L shape almost. Three little toes, one, two, three, and then curve that around and follow that first line. Okay, now you've got the feet, so let's do the tail. So it's gonna, it's gonna go sort of behind this leg. So it comes up here and actually it can go any direction. I'll just have it curving around like that. And then when you've done that, make a point and follow that line back. But as you get toward his body, just make it a little bit wider, the tail. And it kind of disappears behind his leg there. And I like to put a few stripes in it, which then I can color with different shades of pink. So light pink, dark pink. And you can color this later if you want. And of course, you don't have to color them like my Pedro. You could be your own little mouse. And let's do some shading. 
So to show he's kind of skipping along, let's put a shadow under him. But don't quite have it touching his foot because it makes him look like he's up in the air and a bit buoyant. So a little shadow line there. And he's got a spot around his eye. So we're going to draw with your pencil line there and just slightly on the side of your pencil a bit more. Kind of shade that in. Just like that. And maybe give some hairs. Might have some hairs on his legs too, or even a bit of shading down there. A bit of shading, some hairs. There you go. And his tuft of hair. That's a bit of shade. You could also use color, but I'm just going to do it in black and white and shade it. And his, if you're coloring in his ears, they kind of start here and then go around like this. And of course, if you're painting this or coloring it, you can do inside his ears pink and then there's kind of a darker pink shadow in there if you want to add it. But you can look at the book to decide how to color if you want to color like Pedro. And there we go. There's a basic Pedro picture, maybe a little thing on his nose there. And finally, sign your name. So I'm going to sign Sarah McIntyre, but you sign your name because this is your picture. And there you go. Little Pedro. Maybe he's really happy. Put some lines there.